Okay, let's play some more Earthbound. I did a little bit of grinding getting Paula up to where she's not going to die every time she gets hit. So, where we stand now. Ness is level 20, Paula's level 13. Um, let's go ahead and get the second sound point now. I've gotten a couple of the uh, Christmas presents out of here already. Because I went ahead and just did a bit of a walkthrough, killing some enemies, picking some stuff up. Nothing critical or special or anything like no Franklin badge sort of stuff. Bears and moles. Paula's fourteen. IQ one HP. Yeah. And like I said previously, Paula is basically your damage-dealing wizard of this one, so you're going to notice that her psychic power ends up going up a lot, and she actually, I think, learns, well, aside from Ness, most of the spells in the game. Let's see, what does she currently know? Nah, we'll just do that, and I'll just show off her spells. She also does have an insanely low amount of HP for pretty much, I think she's the lowest out of everybody, and Jeff comes in a quick second. If you're wondering, the feeling a little strange. I'm not sure why the moles do that to themselves, but it's pretty much a confusion. Let's get the bear. It's got such a derp face. See, there's a butterfly there. Ness took a bit of damage, so just life up A him. And then we'll go ahead and grab the butterfly to restore the mana. Ooh, smash from Paula. And <laughs> smash from Ness. That <laughs> bear. Yeah, he's ran away. Another bear. Oh, we got a green circle in this. Uh, one other thing here, Paula has got an extra ability called Prey. Uh, it, when you use it, it 
it does random things. It can either completely hurt you, completely help you, do damage to the enemy, different things, um, and also something special at the end of the game that we'll get into uh, when we get to that point. Paula leveled up again. Magnet A, okay. Or Alpha. Ooh, bats. Oh, the bear's not going to join in. Okay. Oh, yeah. Something the bats can actually take you out of battle for a round, too. Oh, Paula got a smash. Oh, green circle on the bear. Basically, free experience. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. You gotta heal Paula. Ness leveled up. Uh, more HP. Um, first off, let's get rid of this stupid cookie. Paula, eat a cookie. Good. Uh, we need to get rid of that bicycle. A bread roll. Let's get rid of that bread roll. She should be good now. Oh, there it is. Um, Ness is maxed out. Paula. Eat that, Paula. Okay, let's go ahead and try this now. It's the second location. And second major boss of the game, Mondo Mole. PSI. Shield for Paula first, PSI. I don't think he casts anything, does he? Freeze beta. Uh, he does not. Okay, good. He does not take much damage from that. PSI. It's a thunder. Is he weak to thunder? Let's try it. Miss. Okay, at least we got both of the shield one. Let's go ahead and... I don't think Flash does anything to him, but let's try it. Fire? Let's see how that works. 35 damage, that's about normal. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Okay, so he's going to miss more often. Yeah, there you go. It's a minor heal. Oh, that is not wonderful. She is going down. See if we can get another fire off on him. Ooh. Okay, good. He didn't hit Paula. That's all that mattered. Um, let's toss one of these in here. Paula, you just smash him. Ugh. That's fine. Ness can take the hits. PSI fire. Ness's shield disappeared. Hmm. Let's do one more fire here. Psychic. Ooh, she's a psychic shield. This isn't going to hit him. Go ahead and bash him. 
See if we can use Paula to get rid of the shield. Pretty much with the shields, you just gotta keep going through them until you actually get through to his body again. Paula, goods, croissant to Ness. Ness, Basham, Paula. Don't waste your mana. Just use A to see if we can get through. Okay, there's his shield's gone. And we beat him. Lots and lots of experience. Paula's level 16. She's got lots more speed. IQ. And a lot more psychic power. Okay, that one's cleared. So let's go ahead and get the next part of the song. You actually don't have to do that this level. There's no requirement that you have to beat him, so you can actually level up quite a bit, get all of the characters, and come back here and pretty much one-shot him. A baby and a red cap. I wonder who that is. So we've seen the baby and the red cap and a small dog. And just like before, they're all going to start avoiding us now. And let's go ahead and listen to the song as far as we've got it now. Okay, so six more to get. Okay, come down here. We need to get back to the beginning. Runaway bear. Now we got we're maxing everything from the sanctuary. Okay, come back around here. Now that we got Paula in here too, those exploding trees aren't going to be uh, as dangerous as they were before when it was just Ness. Porky stole the bananas. Personal reasons. Uh, I did go in there and get the items. That was one of the croissants and the skip sandwiches you saw Paula holding. Right, so back through the tunnel. Back through Peaceful Rest Valley, which th things will still attack you because they're not attached to uh, the Sanctuary Point in any way. But their damage should be significantly lowered now, too. You can't even hurt Paula that bad. There's Paula's prison there. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. So this is the wrong way. That's where you get the hard hat. It's one of those trees. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, well. Okay, and hopefully we can get it before Paula dies. There we go. So Paula didn't die. We've gotta avoid those trees. They're not the only enemies that actually explode in this game too. There's a few of them. There's a robot somewhere along here that explodes also, but I don't think he's coming through yet. Get away from me, tree. Damn tree. Oh, yay, you repaired the bridge. Now 
Another UFO. Let's see, even this too, how many RPGs can you play where your characters beat the crap out of UFOs with frying pans? I would say this one and maybe Super Mario RPG, which is actually kind of on the same level as what is going on here as Earthbound is. I do own Super Mario RPG on carts. I should do a Let's Play of it later on, but I actually have quite a few plans. Don't you magnet me? You can see right now, Paul is significantly lower level than Ness is, and she's already over his uh, psychic power by quite a bit. And fire hits uh, an entire row of enemies, too. It's not just one. So it can hit a front row or a back row. Let's see how we have... Uh, this guy is in the front row. This guy is in the back row. I've got another mushroom to sell. Oh, she... He hit Paula in the face. Um, you're gonna defend now. <laughs> PSI fire him. And we gotta get that mushroom off of Ness. Ketchup packet. Okay. On the overhead map also, um, the mushrooms actually change your controls also to where down is up and left and right and everything. What? I didn't kill him? Can't have Ness killing Paula here, so Paula's going to do most of the damage and everything until we get back. Oh, come on. Oh. It hasn't affected my controls just yet. Yes. Oh, nothing there this time. Next part. There we go. We are back in Tucson. And remember, we gotta go see Everdread. And we also have to take Paula back to her house, also. I don't feel like fighting those stupid mushrooms. Uh, that's Apple Kid. Let's just take Paula home here. As Paula's overly buff father. I think he's going to follow us around for a little while.
Yeah, I know he's looking for me. Hey. Stupid kid. I need to call Escargo Express also, because I can't use that bike for anything anymore. Hello, Edward. Ten thousand dollars. Wad o' bills. No, sadly, we cannot spend the wad o' bills. We need to use it for another reason. Move. Let's see, nearest phone to here is probably going to be in the department store. Um, we're going to avoid the chaos theater for just a minute. need a pickup. You know what? Let's order a pizza also while we're here. Ah. Uh, can't order a pizza. Oh well. Let's leave. There he is. Yeah. I want you to take the bicycle. And let's see, what else do we want you to take? Um, take the pencil eraser for now. We don't need the town map. Yes. Get out of here. If you need any of the stuff back, you just call him and he gives it back to you. Hey, we got the backstage pass. We'll pay off their debt. We just came into quite a bit of money, legal or not. Oh, that's right. We have to go watch the show first. And So, let's go over here. We have got a backstage pass. <laughs> yeah, you look like Tracy. You look like a bad mix of Tracy and Paula. How did you guys get in here? They just kind of subtly tell you that you need to pay them the money to get the game going again. Alright, well, let's go out here. So we got backstage passes, but we can't afford a table, so we got to stand. I don't know if that's going to automatically do it. Yeah, they even use that word bluesmen in there, so that could be a. Possibly part of the reason. So we just watch this for a while. <laughs> 